I may bring you in. Like uh, uh, Brinda and uh, Mr. Cherin was saying that it was because both of the uh, days coincided. But by using possibly Holi to put out such an important message, uh, is there somewhere in? Is it how it has been now counterproductive? Because most people are only seeing it as an insult to the uh, festival or to one religion, not the underlying important message that it is trying to impart. So Ankit, I feel that the hashtags being used are wrong. Instead of talking about boycott holy, which is outrageous, or boycott even Bharat matrimony, it should be boycott domestic violence. That's the message that anyone should take from it. And if you talk about um, harassment and violence against women, it is a reality across religions, across social groups, even across countries. It's the men who need to be taught across spaces and contexts. The National Family Health Survey has recently also validated that one out of three women face domestic violence. And in terms of festivals, I think they're beautiful, blaming festivals, because those are actually spaces and times of gender inclusivity where women get a chance to participate as equals. Okay. But for so many small towns and all, their Holi is also a festival where women actually step out. So it's also a very wrong uh, corner. It's it's a wrong perception. Right. That um, and I think the first tweet that Bharat Matrimony uh, tweeted that that you know it is pro uh, prohibiting or preventing women to step out and celebrate Holi. I think that is a problem. The problem is domestic violence. The problem is harassment against women, right. which is a reality. And uh, you cannot be talking about one religion. It's across religions. In fact, we know how other religions are also okay, very, very uh, problematic for when it comes to gender. 